Alrighty then. Welcome to the sand, everybody. I'm gonna hang out here just for a minute just to make sure the live stream actually works out. But I got the legend down here. I'm down at kind of like a little swimming hole, actually. I plan on getting in the water here in just a second. So let me just make sure my uh, stream is situated, make sure I got at least decent connection. I hope that I do. I sure hope that I do. Pretty nice day down here in Florida, though. Um, let's see here. Let's get to my chat. Make sure we're actually online. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of treasure hunting out here in the water. No guarantee we're going to find anything, but uh, we're going to give it a shot, right? we got to give it a shot. I think we're live. Welcome to the chat, everybody. How is the quality? I need a quick quality check real quick. Want to make sure that I'm actually able to go live here. What's up, Paul? Lucky's in here. Angel, Frank, Blaine, Yodi, Adrian, Sleepy Pie. What's up, you guys? All right, let's strap you guys up and let's jump in the water. This little spot's actually getting, um, it's getting filled up quite a bit. There's actually quite a few people down here today. I'm not really going to be able to hit the dry sand much because it's kind of filled up. I don't have a pair of waterproof headphones for this uh, legend, which is kind of a bummer, but I got my sand scoop out here with me. Got the legend, she's fired up. Um, running at six recovery speed at the moment with uh, 25 sensitivity multi-wet. So let's see how this water feels, shall we? Go on this wet, so uh, wet sand line for just a quick second here. Then we'll jump in the water, see if we got anything in the water. I think it's about that time like the weather is prime for uh you know enjoying the water realistically let's get this one for karma point <laughs> i gotta make sure all my uh my valuables are what situated make sure they don't fall in the water i got my keys my camera all right let's see what we got it's a little bit nipply in here this morning in Florida, I think it was something like, um, what was it, like 60 degrees, maybe in the 50s this morning? We'll start with the shallow water. I guess our goal for uh, out here in the water today is let's try to get one item. At least one item. <laughs> What's up, Nathaniel? JQ says quality very good. Good to hear. What's up, Christopher? I'm hoping that somebody lost something out here. We got a bunch of people in the dry sand, so... Might be still a little bit too chilly to get in the water, but I'm hopeful that there's going to be something out here. I feel like our chance at a ring is kind of high. Nathaniel says, yo, you're going live every day. Testing out the connection more than anything. I like got a, a new setup recently, so I've been trying to like test live streams at different locations to see if they work. I've kind of had... Um, I've had problems live streaming at this place, but seemingly it seems to be okay so far. Yeah, go for uh, the limit is 720p, especially today. We got another JQ, JQC in here. What's up, JQ? Yo, Silver. What's up, Silver? <laughs> Actually, yesterday I made like a little bit of a, uh, a temporary fix for this hat. I put a shoelace through it. <laughs> I got a shoelace wrapped around my head. There's one. First signal of the day. Let's turn up our volume a little bit, I guess. You guys hear the chatter patter of the beach? <laughs> Sounds like maybe foil or something small. 21, 26. 14. See what we got? Come on, baby. I haven't sifted um, sand in a while. Make sure I'm situated. I think I'm situated. All right. Yeah, we might not actually pull too many signals today. I don't know how many signals are out here. I think we may have gotten it in our first scoop. Alrighty, that's a realistic one. Start off the hunt with some realism. It's a piece of foil. 
can't expect to get the gold chain on the first signal, but there's some foil out here. Um, appreciate it, Paul. It says, please smash the like button. Thanks for that, man. Let us continue on. One piece of foil saved from the ground. I'll try to get in a little bit deeper, but not having headphones might hinder me a little bit. I'll turn up my vibration. I heard somebody mention, uh, use vibration in the water. That'll help you once you get to a certain depth. Make sure all my caps and stuff are uh, on. <laughs> Chill Zero says, holy cold. Yeah, the water is actually pretty nipply right now. Let's see what we've got out here. I think at this point, there's only one other person in the water. The rest of the people are sitting up on the dry sand. Maybe I should have come up here early and uh, been up on the dry sand, eh? Like I mentioned, though, just kind of a casual hunt. Hoping for a ring. I'm going to turn my um, stability up just ever so slightly to maybe two or three. Getting just a little tiny bit of feedback from the sand. JQ says, just starting to warm up around here in MD. Headed to the beach tomorrow evening for the first time this year. Heck yeah. I wish you luck out there. Let me get in a little bit deeper water. I'm just checking out the shallow stuff first. Smells like sunscreen out here today. Suntan lotion. That's how you know the beach is back. The beach is back. Now, is there anything in the water? <laughs> it's one thing about, I guess, uh, metal detecting like live in the water on the beach hunts. It's like, you can't really guarantee that you're gonna get signals at all. <laughs> Most of the time when you do get a signal in the water, it's it's got good potential that it's something good. But one piece of foil so far. Let's get a little bit deeper maybe. Let's get slightly deeper. This water actually seems like it's not too um deep. There's like some buoy lines over here which kind of uh, prevent people from going any deeper. So, might be able to get to the, the deepest point. Ooh, it's cold though. It's freaking cold. Ah! Oh yeah, that's cold. It takes the breath out of you. <laughs> I appreciate you, Keela. This is good luck, hope you find jewelry. Just a little bit of a calm stream today. Hopefully you guys don't mind. When you're water hunting, it's definitely more of like a calm experience. Not target after target after target, you know? Gotta kinda work for the signals in the water. Ooh, it's nipply. Sleepy says, wow, looks fun. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic, Sleepy? It's like a big piece of iron down there, I think. Yeah. It's like the buoy, um, the thing that they strap the buoys down with. <laughs> G4 says, I'm grinding stumps today. Wish you luck out there, G Force. Alright. We're, per, we're about getting to the depth of our speaker, so if we get a signal, we're going to really have to use our other senses to know that it's there. Uh, the vibration, or maybe we can even kind of keep a close eye at the screen, see if any target IDs pop up. What's up, Bobby Laley? Angel says, you got this. Mind over matter. It's kind of mind over matter. I think it's also just, is there anything actually out here? <laughs> I think that's something, but I think it's iron. I think that's a repeatable signal. Two to seven. I feel it vibrating. Let's try it. 
at least use this as a test to make sure the vibrate works. Kind of, I'm not going to say it sounds small because there's no s sound at all. It feels small maybe <laughs> with the vibrate. Might still be in there. Is that it? I think that might be it. That might be like a little piece of foil right there. Nothing special, nothing special. Okay, okay, add it to the pouch. John, you missed nothing at all. You missed a little bit of swinging around in the water. Yeah, Christopher says you won't get as many targets in the water, but you got the chance to get the best stuff. I agree, I found some good rings and like some good, even gold out here at this spot. So I'm hoping that people have actually used the water. That's kind of the determining factor. Have people used the water? Um, and like have other metal detectors been in the water recently? Yeah, hopefully you guys don't mind a little bit of a chilled out swing. I'm trying to just kind of feel for anything. Sometimes you get a little bit of like a false signal in there, you know? Alrighty then. 23, but... Can't tell if that's an actual signal. We'll try it again. I think it's a ferrous signal though. It's reading a one, which is lower than foil. Just want to see if I can recover some of this stuff without sound. You know, it's kind of tough without sound. Gopher uh, says detectorists. You correct me, Gopher. It's a little bit tough not being able to hear stuff. Should I be stopping for these questionable ones or maybe we should just keep moving, huh? Maybe I shouldn't stop for the iron signals. Wait. Oh no, that's an iron signal again. <laughs> it's a one. Or wait. It's actually bouncing all over the place. That is a challenge to metal detect with no sound though, you know, vibration only, it's kind of tough. Hmm, alright, let's move by this one I guess. Really scrappy like iron signal, can't get it. Frank says bracelet, oh gold sounds like iron says Frank, or Frank. We'll take one more scoop on it just in case. It's reading a two. <laughs> a one two but it's got like a repeatable vibrate so i know that it's actually a signal and not just like a false you know still there though one more scoop one more scoop and we'll move on this is kind of a training session i guess in here Water training. I haven't been in the water for a little while. All right. I don't know. It's gone. Or oh, wait, is that it? No. Do you see it? Or oh, wait, is that it? No. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Alrighty then. Let's continue on. Uh, Angel says, I had an iron signal before, ended up being an iron chain with a small silver pendant. Hey, that's that's good to hear stuff like that, Angel. You just never know, right? You can't make too many assumptions with signals. Pretty sure all my connections are tight because we're going under. We're deep now. Paul Tab says, hi all, I see you have awful weather again. The sun's out nice. Water's a little bit chilly, but we're adjusting. I might private this one uh, after we're done with the live, you guys. 
there's another something right there, but it's reading a one, two again. Can we recover it? And my phone screen just went black. Perfect. <laughs> now that I'm in the water, very likely, I'm not going to be able to read the chat. Oh, there it is. Hey, we recovered one with the uh, vibrate only right there. I think definitely if there's like a ring or something bigger, maybe even a coin, we'll be able to uh, like obviously tell. But for the smaller jewelry, it'll probably be tough because you're relying solely on your senses, you know, and not your uh, your hearing sense either real quick try to unlock my phone so you can see you guys try not to drop it in the water but it might happen all right we're back yeah ZZ says I'm staying home <laughs> Paul says we have more rain than you have seawater Send us down some rain. We need a little bit of rain down here The vibration legend ZZ's got a toothache. Hope you feel better ZZ Low and slow in the water low and slow I should have put a boring warning on the front of this video. <laughs> May not be very entertaining. Dentist tomorrow. Wish you luck at the dentist. Might go down the side lane here in a minute. I'm hunting like what's kind of the main area, the main swimming area. But sometimes guys are through here with their detectors quite often. Getting something down there. A solid vibrate. <laughs> a repeatable vibration. Does pinpoint work with vibrate? Oh, it does. Okay, so even your pinpoint button vibrates. That could be helpful. Let's go for a scoop on this one. Vibration station. Gopher says I want to get out today, but being extremely lazy so far, maybe I can make it out around 3 or 4. I was questioning if I wanted to come out here today. Figured I'd give it a shot. I think it's probably still in the hole. What's up, Terry? Says, uh, ah, well, hi, Austin. I'm out swing my detector, sat down for a rest, and saw you're live. <laughs> We're trying to find something in the water out here today. I don't know if we'll be able to, but let's see. I need to get a pair of waterproof earbuds, but I, I don't know if anybody makes waterproof earbuds for the Legend. I'm not a big fan of like the full size headphones. Um, there was this guy that made uh, like generic waterproof earbuds for the Mind Lab detectors, and I've been using those for a couple years and they work good. But I want like the same pair for the Legend. It's like 9 to 13 now. It's giving me a little bit of uh, an ID on it. It's cleaning up, I think, a little bit. Might have been deeper. I was getting some 35s in it now. Is this our best signal of the day? Still in there. I wish I could hear the tone because it's hard to tell if it's like an iron sound or what. I guess you basically just rely on target ID. What's up? It says good morning from Greece. Nice videos. Hey, nice to see you, man. Kila says Hawaii have been raining a lot lately. I don't know if I'll be able to get them out. It's quite tough. You know, at least when you have audio, you can use audio as a cue to let you know how close you are to the signal or... Nope. 
Could it be the gold? What's going on, Julie? Uh, Gopher says, I don't think the Legend Audio Jack is waterproof. Yeah, you have to get that waterproof connection, Gopher. Um, they make like some type of a waterproof connection. I smell some deadest devil's lettuce out here today. There's people using the sand. If I don't have any luck um, in this water today, I'm probably gonna maybe wake up tomorrow morning and come up to the dry sand. Because everyone's still kind of hanging out in the dry sand. Jake's asking, is it true that metal detectors repel sharks? I can't say for sure, but I don't know if I've ever heard a, uh, a story of a metal detector user being attacked by a shark. Alright, yeah, I can't get this one out. I'm feeling like a hard pack layer down there that is impenetrable. Yes, Bingham, this water is cold. <laughs> I'm kind of having my body adjust a little bit to it. I don't know how cold it is, but is that it? Or is that a freaking oyster shell? That's an oyster shell. Is that it? That is a stick. <laughs> Piece of charcoal, actually. All right, let's move on. Move on to a better signal. Sorry, fellas. Pinball says you don't need any specific ones for the legend. You just need any Bluetooth headset that has low latency. Yeah, the problem with uh, Bluetooth is if you submerge the control box, you lose your Bluetooth like connectivity. So I need a pair of headphones that will allow me to actually submerge the box, you know? Bacon says, at this rate, you're going to metal detect all of Florida, says Bacon. Hey, that's what I'm trying. Jay Dig says, I'm out swinging also, but now eating lunch. Hopefully you're getting something tasty. I feel like I'm about at the depth where the rings could possibly be, so let's keep swinging through here kind of slow. Six recovery speed. Maybe I could even drop it down a little bit to like four. Christopher's asking, where's my wetsuit? I'm um, not that advanced. Julie says, sitting out in this gorgeous sunshine. Freddy says, woohoo, you are alive. What's up, Freddy? Uh, Custom Cab says, my buddy was neck deep and had to push off a shark that kept approaching him. Hey, that could be, uh, that could be true. Maybe the sharks are actually attracted to the detectors. Ain't nobody been using the water or what? Uncle Stewie says, I can't understand why manufacturers don't include a standard Bluetooth 4.0 radio, an 80 cent component. It's probably so they can sell you another piece. <laughs> That's like my thought process usually. If metal detecting companies purposely leave something out, it's probably so they can sell you an attachment. <laughs> Sadly. What's going on, Richard? What's up, Beach Hunter South Africa? This is evening here in South Africa. Wish you luck out there. Come on, give me a penny, give me something, a pull tab. Show me there's hope. Please, show me there's hope. You just have to be really like aware when you're, you know, relying on vibration, trying to kind of purposely stay a little bit quieter, <laughs> get on any of those faint hits. Freddie says, are you in Florida? I thought the water was always warm there. I mean, it's warm enough to get in. A little bit nipply compared to the, uh, the sand though, you know? I've already kind of adjusted though. Dang it. 6 a.m. in Hawaii waiting for work, says Kyla. Kila.
go maybe turn my uh, iron off. I'm getting a couple hits that are uh, falsing from the the sand, the soil underneath. I feel like when you're in vibration mode, you kind of want anything that vibrates, right? <laughs> I don't know, you don't really want it vibrating on iron unless you're looking for iron. Maybe now that I have my iron notched out though, I'm going to miss the goods. What's up, soil searcher? Appreciate you, Julie. Richard says, relaxing, watching the water sway. At least there's a little bit of sounds in the background too, right? Splashing around water, seagulls. Sometimes I feel guilty when we're literally finding nothing, but... I never know how an area is going to treat me until I get out to it, right? Might go down the other lane. I'm not sure what the water temp is, uh, pinball. Warm enough to not freeze. Mad Clatter says 70 plus people watching, leave a like, people, please. <laughs> it's all right, we got some freeloaders in the house. It's free content, so it's not required to like the stream if you're hanging out in here. We appreciate it, but you know, we didn't find the golden, uh, the golden sphinx or the uh, huge gold doubloon, so. You know, a dislike might be more in order. <laughs> we found one piece of foil. What's up, Kentucky? Uh, Mad says, how does the legend work with black sand? In my little bit of an experience using it, like at the beach, it's hit or miss. Um, you can adjust the settings. They added a salt stability setting, which helps a little bit with uh, heavily mineralized areas like that. So... I don't know, compared to the Equinox, sometimes I think the Equinox might be a little bit more stable in salt water, but please don't, you know, don't take me at my word saying that. That's just kind of like my impressions. Never tested them like right next to each other, so it's hard to say. Son of a signals. There's not even a penny. Julie says, my detector says it's waterproof, but I don't know if that just means the coil or all of it. If it says your whole detector is waterproof, it probably means your whole detector. What detector did you get, Julie? I was looking through the chat trying to find what detector you got, but I never saw your message. John says, I'm feeling sleepy with the sounds of the ocean in slow motion and the back and forth swinging of the detector. <laughs> Go to sleep. Yeah, where's the excitement, right? Give me a pull tab. <laughs> Let me make sure it's on. Yeah, it's on. It's registering my sand scoop. My speaker's full of water, but she's on. Thinking maybe like it's just not quite warm enough. People aren't really using the water that much. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't even really found much foil. Beach says, I find tons of stuff, even in the waves. Yeah, I'm not finding nothing in here. All it takes is one, though, you know, remember that. Especially in an area like this, I feel like the odds are higher to find, like, a ring or jewelry in the water for sure. So... For me, I usually don't find as much trash in the water. It's usually a slow hunt like this until you get like a decent signal. Paul Tebbs, this is the official ASMR detecting channel. Depends on the day. Ian says, hope you find some nice rings. Appreciate it, Ian. Oh, Julie got a Lolo Ran. The screen is LCD. Um, it might be waterproof search coil then. I haven't really heard of that detector. It could be completely waterproof, but 
more than likely it's probably like a submergible search coil. Yeah, Bingham says, I like how the Xterra vibrates so you feel it instead of staring at the ID. That's what I have the Legend in right now too. The Legend also has that vibrate feature. I got it pumped up to max vibrate, <laughs> but I'm just not really getting any hits. I see something under there, but it's not metal. Look at this. Use your eyes, fellas. I have found the best find of the day. I'm going under now. <laughs> Check him out. Perfection. Angel says you'll find something. Took me two hours to get a decent signal. I have found something. <laughs> They've been out here swimming. Uh, Gopher's asking, what's your oldest coin you found in Florida? Um, oldest? Hmm, early 1900s. I've never found a coin older than 1900s. I think my oldest coin might be like a... I don't remember if it's a Swedish coin. I found some weird silver coin that's related to the ore. Because I was finding some ores too. They're called like one ore. See something else circle right down in there. You guys know what coin the ore is? Like one ore? I think it's actually made out of zinc. Plastic. Plastic ring. ZZ says polarized boot. Yeah, forget what the coin is actually called. Alright, I think let's turn around maybe. Seems like nothing like in this deeper water. Maybe because it's been chilly, people have been using the shallow water. Oh, there we go, there we go. Looky there. Beautiful. 48 to 51. You can kind of hear the sound, but the, um, the sound is muffled because I have water in my speaker. There we go. It took us how long to find this one? <laughs> took us probably 30 minutes. That's a really good signal, though. Let's dig them out. Shows us that we got potential in here. And like with an obvious one like that, it should be pretty easy to identify with just the vibrate. Come on, honking silver, please. Don't be, don't forsake me, Frank. He says quarter. I'm thinking the same thing, but come on, Frank. Silver honker, not a quarter. There it is. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Not the worst, I guess. It's a Quartar. <laughs> uh, 1989 on the date on that one. I think that's our first coin out here. How long have we been live? <laughs> the hunt's a success. We found a coin. Woot woot. <laughs> Angel says, silver, come on. One of a kind, or uh, one or is kind of like a Swedish penny. Okay, so it might have been a Swedish silver coin that I found then. I think it was maybe a dime. And I don't think it's 90% silver. I could be wrong. I forgot what it's called. At this park that I found that, the ore, I actually found a New York City subway token too. Like, to my knowledge, that park isn't really that old. I don't know how I found all those old coins at that one park, but... I don't know. Sometimes I even think, like, like coin collectors and stuff, do they ever have, like, gatherings or something? I don't know, that was really weird to me to find, like, all those coins in that one little area. What's up, D.E.? Franks has been there for a while. Ooh, Richard found him a Roman, a Roman coin. Alright, we found one quarter. Maybe there's more. Low and slow wins the race, baby. Low and slow may lose. <laughs> I don't know. Beach Hunter says, use your foot. Place it behind your target while over the target. Easy to ensure you don't miss when you scoop. Good tip, Beach Hunter. 
Uh, do you use anything like on your coil? I've heard a couple people they put like reflective tape or something on their coil so they can see it better underneath the water. 43 popped up on the ID for a second, but I think it was a false. Just a false. What's up, Snipe? Uh, Angel, I have the CKG Pro, I think it's called. It's the one with like the small holes for the jewelry catch. Hey, what's going on, Snipe? Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm trying to get lucky in the water today. It's been slow. We found one quarter. <laughs> one quarter and one piece of foil. Perfect. Just got to swing over the right spot, I think. Because this little beach area that I'm at, it's more of a swimming hole than it is like a beach with tides and sand movement. This is the spot where basically if somebody drops something, it's going to stay pretty much right where they dropped it, I think. Beach says, just put my foot behind the target. Never miss that way. Yeah, I need to start doing that. Because sometimes I do have issues pinpointing my target in the water, especially if I can't see. Especially if I can't hear. I usually use the sound to help me like, you know, get a better idea. Uh, Enforcer says, is that the scoop that broke? It's not, I actually ordered another shaft. I ordered another carbon fiber shaft, but this is the one piece. So the one that broke was actually like the travel shaft version of the CKG scoop or the CKG rod. And it snapped right at that tra uh, travel shaft point. What's up, Keith? Says, hi, everyone. I think he should have tried a fishing lure. Might have caught lunch. <laughs> You're right. Or that would be interesting to, like, tie a piece of fishing line to my belt loop <laughs> and drag a shrimp behind me. See, while I'm metal detecting, if I can catch something. Yeah, until the shark gets the shrimp and it takes me out to sea. Then I'll be out of luck. Uh, beach says, perhaps you are not the only one hunting that beach. Yeah, I think you're right. I really think you're right about that. There would at least be foil. Probably showed up after the other guys have already demolished it. So that's why I'm thinking maybe I want to go down the side lane because the side lane is like, it's kind of off the beaten path. This is the main area where usually everyone goes, but maybe the side lane has been neglected a little bit. I'm moving my way down to the side lane. I don't know what this is. We'll pull them out of there. Is it a stick? Yeah, it's just a stick piece of a palm leaf or something. Bingham says, I have the travel shaft, not many beaches here in Ohio. Travel shaft should be good for you. My travel shaft lasted me like a couple of years, so should be good. Uh, I make videos, I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber, but <laughs> I got a little bit of a live stream going. You wanna say hey to the live? What's up? Watching you. I got a hundred in the chat right now, so I'm not the biggest, but oh damn! Say hey to Keith. We got Bingham, Enforcer. <laughs> oh, my name is Bowden. Bowden says, "What's up? Where are you? Are you from? From Florida?" Uh, no, I'm from Canada. Canada. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy the water out here, you guys. Yeah. Tell you. Tell your viewers to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He says subscribe. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we got people in the water. I'm not the only one. What's up, Fox? Uh, Grizzly says, man, how much I wish I had a beach less than eight hours away. Yeah, I'm lucky to have this little spot. This spot is very local to me. So, I gotta start hitting it more consistently, I think. When I first got into metal detecting, like this was kind of the monopoly. I had the monopoly on this spot. I'd come down here like every single day 
and if something was dropped I would clear it out <laughs> but recently I think the other guys have been getting to the goods before me which you know probably gives them a little bit more pep in their step <laughs> Bob says Bowden eh Gopher says I have like all of Georgian Bay close to me Palm Beach Wasaga Gopher you're you're in Canada right yeah that should be obvious I should know that by now Gophers in Canada come on my arm <laughs> my arm is actually getting sore Uh, soil searcher says early bird gets the rings. Yeah, I was gonna come out here early, but it was like 50 degrees So I figured at least wait till the water warms up The dudes were probably out here with their wetsuits <laughs> snatched everything All right, uh, all right, let's just swing the rest of the way I guess I was gonna just walk over to that other area Blaine says, go for it when at the beach and at the water, drag a magnet behind you. Somebody's given me that idea before. Jake says, that's a big coil to be swinging underwater. No need to go to the gym. Yeah, there's a little bit of resistance for sure. Arm day at the beach, says Kentucky. Blaine says, after a half hour, you will have a coin ball. <laughs> I'm hoping. Come on with the beeps. Yeah, I honestly think the dry sand is where it's at, like at this particular location. Because it's just not quite warm enough for people to get in the water yet. I'm like, basically, it's me and the kids in the water today. What's up, Mitchell? Bing says, how many days straight have you been detecting? A couple. <laughs> I can't say exactly. Uh, South Africa's last time I took my wife's fit watch thing with me covered 13 kilometers in the water swinging holy smokes that is patience you know water hunting is like patience building you have to have patience to hunt in the water and audio would probably help Legend says, uh, I'm glad I get to watch Austin today. Appreciate it, Legends. Wish we could be finding more. Yeah, Bill, the Legend is running very quietly. It's not giving me any chatter or any, like, patter or anything. About to go down the side lane, though. Let's finish up this little section, and then we'll hop out of the water for a second. Jump in the other uh, little section. Might even try the shallow water for a second. Freddie says, I was just about to say, uh, go to the dry sand. The problem is there's just not really room in the dry sand. The dry sand is freaking packed. There's family spread all throughout the dry sand at this place. This isn't as big as Clearwater Beach, so there's not really a lot of room to get in between people. I think if I wanna hit the dry sand, I gotta come up here early in the morning. It's like, it's usually my play, I think. We'll go in the other water section. We found a quarter, so there could be something. Beach Hunter says, it's not for everyone, but I'm a water baby. It's like, it's enjoyable, you know? It's like, it's relaxing, kind of. Gave it a shot though, we gave it a shot. Uh, Bill, my sensitivity is 25. I might be able to get away with pumping it up a little bit, 28. Nah, 28's giving me a little bit of chatter, 26. 26 seems to do the trick too. All 
All right, let's give it a shot down the sideline. Ooh, my arm is already sore. <laughs> Through here. Excuse me. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, back in we go. I want to stick to the water today. I'm just kind of feeling it. Be warned, we might not find anything else for the rest of the hunt. I feel like that's a warning that must be given. <laughs> Had pretty good luck over on this side though. I feel like this is the area that the other guys don't really check as thoroughly. So we're gonna find something. It's probably gonna be over here. What's up, Grandma Kelly? Johnson Family Adventures is in here. Nice to see you. Oh no, gopher. Kim says, love the Legend and Xterra Pro. Swing the GoPro to the babes every now and again. <laughs> we got uh, we got shoe leather out here. <laughs> we got shoe leather, Jason. Wayne says, hey Austin, everyone from Central Alberta. I didn't know you were go doing a live this morning. Did I miss anything special? You missed the best thing of the hunt, man. You're going to have to go back to see it. <laughs> Just kidding. I've only literally found like one thing in the water so far. It's been very, very slow. I think I'm going to turn my iron back on as well. Maybe not. Maybe I'll change my tone break. See what my tone breaks at. My tone breaks at eight, actually. So that's that's pretty good. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Come on, let's get one. See you later, South Africa. Good luck. Julie says more likes, please. Show some love. Appreciate you, Julie. Uh, De says anyone in the chat from Boston. From Boston. Basically, all I'm looking for at this point is a ring. Give me a crested ring. I'll be happy. I like this little area right here. I'll give you guys a little bit of a look at least where we're at. I don't know how well you can see it when I'm down swinging, but like I said, we got like these, uh, what are they called? Buoy? Buoy lines? So it kind of like congregates people. They're forced to stay within this little swimming area, which is kind of beneficial for metal detecting. You know where people have been, right? Right over here, I found uh, probably the troll. The biggest troll I've ever found was right over here in this little area. It was a honking looking gold chain, but it ended up being a silver chain that was gold filled. Still kind of a good find, I guess, but I thought I had a honking gold. Crypto says, being signals are slow. When you find something, it should be good. Yeah, I got one quarter and one piece of aluminum foil. That's the only two signals out here. But I agree, because there's not much trash. So if there is a signal, it should be... Uh, Hopefully either a coin or some jewelry, you know Getting a little bit deeper My problem if you guys are just joining me is I don't have headphones for the legend. I don't have waterproof headphones So I'm using the vibrate feature to uh, try to Feel for signals more than listen for signals So it's a little bit tough. We're getting deeper now though. I Can only go so deep with this setup. Otherwise you guys are gonna be dunked under the water Grandma says, I love mine, Rab. <laughs> Angel says, detect next to those lines. 
get a little bit deeper. We'll get as deep as we can get without flooding you guys out. Because I have my phone too on my chest mount, so I can only go so deep when I have the uh, the camera on, you know? Look what I can do. You guys remember that? Was it Steve? Stevie, I think, from Mad TV? Look what I can do. Just hear a little kid say that and just get a memory. <laughs> the blonde headed guy from Mad TV. Mick says best area is when the head unit is under. Yeah, I think you're probably right because that means people's hands are under the water too. You're deep enough to where, you know, those rings could start slipping off the fingers, I think. Gopher says, I'm watching in a 144p, so please verbally say what you find. <laughs> I will if we find anything, Gopher. Oh, yeah, Stuart. Stuart, Bob, Bob Uleli. That's it. Stuart. Yeah, you had Stuart's mom, too. She was a character. <laughs> Stuart. Mom, look what I can do. <laughs> And then, yeah, the mom would always say Stuart in that specific, like, way. Stuart! Crypto says, honestly, I'd stay 8 to 10 feet from the dry. Most people won't go to the deep. Yeah, I feel like sometimes, like, depending on the weather, too, I feel like when it's still kind of chilly, people are closer to the dry and, like, the shallow water area. And then once it starts to warm up, people get pretty deep. But just looking around, there's no adults currently in the water. There's a signal, though. I just literally stopped over a signal right here. 11. Foil, very likely. That's foil or gold. Beach Hunter said to put my, like, foot behind the coil. I'm trying to pull it back to get an idea where it's at. I'm going to try to put it right here. We have a signal after 30 minutes of swinging. It's an 11. Please reward us. Don't know if it's still on the hole or if it's in the scoop. Oh my, look at that. Look at that shining in the freaking scoop right there. Look at that. Is that? That's not gold. That's troll's gold, I bet you. Is that gold? I think that might be tr Oh, it's got a mark in it. It's got a mark in it. Look at that. Can you guys see it? 11? That might be a tiny, freaking thinny mini. Oh. It says 14K in the band, but it's 120th. 120th 14k that's gold filled again i think i think that's gold filled i think we've been trolled yeah it says one and then it's got like the little forward slash 20 so i think that means it's 120th 14 karat gold unfortunately hey a little something in here though I'll take it can't complain can't complain we got our ring we've got our ring after freaking an hour and a half I think it's freaking gold filled. The gold filled curse. The gold filled curse. <laughs> that was a little signal though. That was like a scratchy 11, you know? So we gotta pay like really close attention to anything that we feel vibrating. Swing that baby low and slow. I mean, technically gold filled is still gold, so. We got a little some type of gold, I think. Freaking 120th 14k. That thing like didn't even feel like it was a gram. The essence of gold on that one. Who says that? Blaine says I called ring and it's tiny gold. I win a I win a prize. Chemo says a ring is a ring. Gopher says dang, gold filled cruel joke, yep. But if you find lots of gold. Yeah, it wasn't even crusty, says Soil Searcher. 
Yeah, Bob's saying 1 20th of the whole weight is 14K gold, so it is gold. Gold filled, Google told me. All right, we're pretty deep at least. We're like, you know, belly deep, I guess. Just keep swinging around. So now I think that makes three signals in the water so far. <laughs> or no, maybe four if you include the bread tie. Nice. Let's keep swinging. A ring is a ring, baby. ZZ says Austin just answered me. Uh, Grizzly says gold filled is still valuable if you market them right, especially around prom nights. Yeah, it looked like it was still pretty clean. I guess 14k gold filled is better than 10k gold filled if there's a such such a thing. We do have somebody in the water up ahead though. Stefan's asking how the water temperature is. Um I feel like it's chilly but the sun is like really warm. So kind of like equals equals itself out, I guess. Let's make a little bit of a turn. Let's go back slightly deeper and then we'll make another pass slightly shallower right here. I'm almost on my tippy toes right here. This is about the deepest I've been. Just trying to feel. I'm basically feeling for any vibration and I'm kind of trying to keep my eye on the screen too. Just to like see any visual numbers pop up. Ooh, it's chilly. <laughs> Rab says watch out for the crabs. <laughs> I need some like some boosters in here. Or you know what I want to get still, kind of? I want to get one of those Blue Nemo things. You guys hear of those things? It's kind of like scuba diving, but with like a air compressor, a waterproof air compressor. It would be perfect for this little area though, because it's not very deep and there's not really many waves. I feel like I could be covering like a lot more ground. I have to move, whoa, careful. Ooh, almost fell in a hole. Ooh. <laughs> Almost fell in a hole. I don't know. That might be one for later this year. I might have to start saving up for one of those things. I feel like that would be cool. It would give the channel to another, like, uh, variety, another element of hunting. Some, like, diving footage, you know? That would be sick. I tried once to snorkel out here, and it was a complete disaster. Grandma Kelly says, I want a Blue Nemo so bad. Stefan says, get the Nomad Mini. Is that like uh, similar to the Blue Nemo? Maybe just slightly budget friendly or something? What's up, Mark? Anything good today, he asked. I just found a ring. You just missed a ring, but it took me like over an hour to find it. Other than that, it's been very, very slow. I think I'm going to turn my iron volume off again. Rocket in Kentucky says those uh, Nemo air things are cool. I feel like they'd work good at this little spot. Every time I turn my iron off though, the legend does, once in a while it'll give you like a little bit of a false on the salt, either the minerals in the salt or like the sand, and it'll kind of throw you a little bit of a false iron signal. So when I'm dealing with um, vibration, every time I get one of those little false iron signals, I get like a little false vibration in the handle. So I'm thinking maybe to be efficient, Maybe the play is just to keep iron off in the water when I have this set up. Yeah, Dan, unfortunately the ORX is not waterproof. 
You can get like some waterproof case for it, but it's it's kind of a pain in the rear. I have that waterproof case and I've never really used it. <laughs> I'm literally on my tippy toes. I look like a fool. All right, let's take another pass, more shallow, I think. Oh, my ankles are feeling it. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit more shallow down the lane, I think. We'll see you later, Kimo. Thanks for hanging with us, man. Bob, what's up, Kala? Kala? Uh, Bobby Lilly says found an early 1900 kids ring that was heavily plated. It was a WM Loeb and Company. Huh. Looks like gold, sounds like gold, wears like gold, and will stand a gold acid test. Wow. So it was heavily gold plated then, huh, Bob? Alright, I'm a little bit more shallow here. Try the slightly shallow water, you never know. Try to get some of that water out of my speaker. Give it a shot in the shallow section for a minute. Uh, Rod says Eastern KY. Gopher says uh, Amazon has 500 pound magnets. Starter kits. Persistence is king for in the water, that's for sure. Been swinging around the LG30 in here. Kind of feels like a tank. Go maybe like right up here to the shallow area. Give this little section a shot for a minute, huh? Yeah, I've noticed like, uh, especially on really cold days though, like parents will sit right here with their kids and play like in this little shallow water area. Pretty sure I found at least one gold in an area like this. And I also did uh, find like a honking gold pendant that I returned to somebody and it was in the same like little shallow section. Kala says I really hope the snow would melt where he lives. I hope the snow melts too for you Kala. Blaine says, uh, coins stick like mad, but them 500 pound magnets are like. <laughs> All right. I guess let's just go deeper. Pouch is about to fall off of me. Wayne says, when you say not waterproof, are you talking about the head unit or the whole thing? Um, what are we talking about, Wayne? I already forget what I'm talking about. Forget what we're speaking of. Uh, Bill says, when you get out of the water, you'll be swinging like pastry, I know. Yeah, sometimes when you swing a heavy machine though, and then you get a light machine, it feels great. Like same if you have a big coil on and then you uh, put on a little coil. Rod says I'm thinking about ordering the Legend. I'd really like a Deus 2 or Manticore, but too expensive. How does the Legend compare? Um, I've never compared them head to head, but from what I've heard, they're pretty close in performance. 
I think really what you get more of out of the dais is maybe like a little bit more flexibility when it comes to settings. And also like I feel like a little bit more of an ergonomic machine with the dais. But uh, with the Legend, I don't know, it's a pretty strong performer for the price, I, I believe. <laughs> um, you know, it's kind of multifunctional. You take it to the beach, you take it to the iron sites, you can take it to the park. What I kind of like about the Legend is like the, the price of the coils too, because if you actually get a Deus 2, the Deus 2 is going to cost you a lot, but if you want an extra coil for the Deus 2, I think the Deus 2 coils are $400 each. <laughs> so sometimes that's like something that we don't always think about too is like the accessories once you buy a metal detector yeah the Deus 2 is freaking quite expensive Jason says the legend is one of the best detectors for the price free Markin says I wonder if there is a playground on the beach I don't think there's a playground at this beach but um yeah, I can bet you we'd be finding more stuff in the dry sand. I don't know if we'd be finding better stuff. Probably would have found a couple more coins and a lot more aluminum by now. I'm just going to continue down this lane. Can you guys see how much area I have left? I have basically all this area to hunt. And I can, if I want to, I can go deep and then come back shallow, you know, in the middle. And then even go back shallow again kind of hard to know where the the stuff is right because at this beach it's not like you're looking for a low point to um, find a collection area you're looking for where someone dropped something and it could be anywhere throughout this place could be deep it could be shallow it could be in the dry sand we're testing the legends waterproof ability we've had it submerged for a little bit now 26 sensitivity, multi-wet. It's running pretty smooth. Bill says pastry super freak is what metal detecting is all about. Yeah, Jason says my only complaint with the legend, it's top heavy and falls over a lot. Yeah, like the legend is kind of a tank compared to the Deus 2. So like another benefit I think of the Deus 2 is that it's a lot more lightweight, especially if you choose to take the control box off of it, which you have the ability to do. Low and slow, baby, low and slow. If there's anything under here, I feel like I'm paying close enough attention that I will either see it or feel it. <laughs> One of the two. Sometimes I feel like having headphones too, though, can get you potentially closer to like those really small or faint targets. So like because I'm relying on vibration, could I be missing the small stuff right now? That's kind of how I feel. I don't know if I actually am, but... Free Markin says, can you try a grassy area? I'll try a different spot probably on the next hunt. I think I'm just committed to the water. It may be slow, but you know, we found almost an actual gold ring. So sometimes you just have to fight through, you know, the slowness really. Next time I come out here though, I'm not gonna be in the water. I'll definitely do the dry sand, but Today I'm committing to the water. I feel like I'm just gonna do the water for the rest of the hunt. I think I lost connection. Whoops. Sorry about that, fellas. I didn't drop my uh, camera in the thing. I probably just lost connection. Detecting Blaine says he's dropping the gold. <laughs> if only it was that easy. 
Nope, it's gonna be another 45 minutes of nothing, very likely, so I think we lost like pretty much our entire audience. <laughs> Thanks for the people that are hanging out in here with me though. I did get one just now though, but I think it's a penny. Forty on the target ID, that's like penny. <laughs> It's been probably 20 minutes since we got one, so it's about dang time. Finally, Zinky. Yep, it's a Zink. Come here, you little bugger. Yeah. My detector's about to float away in the wind. <laughs> Bingham says we will take it at this point. Beautiful. So shiny it's about to blind me. Oh, it's actually a... It's one of those slightly different ones that has like the kind of different design on the back. It's a 2009 Zinc Penny. It's got like a log cabin on the back. Cool. It's about the best penny we could have found out here besides an Indian head. Drop it in the pouch, keep going. I couldn't even tell that my live stream dropped. I was probably talking to myself for like five minutes. My camera didn't even make a sound or anything. All right, we found a penny. Oh, there's another one. Two pennies in the same hole, perfect. Maybe somebody's pocket came like inside out right here. 44. It's kind of hard to pinpoint now. All right, I'm going to turn my recovery speed back up to six. I'm just messing around. Now that it's deeper, it's really hard to tell like exactly where it is. Let's try it. Julie says sausage and eggs, anyone? Oh, Bob Uloi says, Lincoln Early Childhood. I know they made like a couple pennies like that that had a couple different designs on the back, I think. I rarely find any of those, though, at like the park. There it is. Another one. I think that's at least a copper, though. Yep, that one's just the 1980. That brings us up to three coins. Wow. What in an extravagant hunt. Exciting, extravagant, amazing. ZZ says, I have noticed water has an effect on cell transmission. Huh. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Again, I'm gonna turn my recovery speed down to four though. I feel like Four is good when you're searching and then pump it up a little bit before you try to recover the signal because four recovery speed, for me at least, it makes it a little bit harder to pinpoint. Roland says, I found one penny today. Uh, Scott says, recovery speed down if you think it's deep. Uh-oh, a couple bubbles just came from my legend. I really hope that water is not getting in. I just saw like a couple bubbles spit out from what I think is my control box. Better not flood on me out here, little legend. Still making our way down though. Yeah, and like this, I feel like this is a good, um, I know it hasn't been the most exciting today, but this is a good look at what it actually takes to make a beach metal detecting video, especially stuff in the water. 
Like sometimes when I come out here and make like a 10 minute long video, it takes me five, six hours to make. <laughs> So this is at least kind of like a realistic approach to a water hunt, you know. You can find some good stuff, but it definitely takes a long time. Gotta, of course, be on a good area, but sometimes it just comes down to swinging over the right spot. Free Markin says, could I try the dry sand today? I'll try it definitely another, um, I'll try it another day, free marking. There's a lot of people in the dry sand, so I feel like it would be better to try earlier when there's less people. Otherwise, I'm going to have to be like bobbing and weaving through people, and I never really like doing that. I'm not trying to sift my sand upon them. Still got a chance to find something in the water though. There's just less to find in the water. Less signals, you know. Covering decent ground though, I feel. had some target IDs show up on the screen, but I think it was a false. Oh, nope, it's something small, I think. It's gonna be hard to find. Hmm, it's not giving me like a very strong hit. We're gonna try to find it. It's reading up to a 44, but it's just not really giving me a strong hit. It's hard to find where it is to even pinpoint it, you know? I said when you're relying on, um, when you're relying on vibration only and your detector is underwater, it's really tough. I mean, unless you get like a really crisp signal, of course. Let's try to sift this one out, see if we have it. I don't know if we do. Definitely was a repeatable signal in there though. Guys see anything? Don't think there's anything in there. Hmm. All right, I'm trying to feel out now where my hole is even at because I don't hear it anymore. I don't feel it. I'm just going to have to take a scoop on the same hole. Take a scoop. Try to sift it out. Blaine says stay live for six hours till they go for supper. Appreciate it, Bill. Says, please give Austin some likes. If you guys are enjoying the stream, give it a like, will ya? I don't know if we're gonna be able to find this one. It just sounded so small. It's kind of a repeatable signal, but... Check it out a little bit more, a little bit more. It's a shame. Huh? I just don't know. Take another scoop on it. <laughs> I'm detecting blind. I'm detecting blind. Magoo says, hey bud, did you find my precious? I may have Magoo. I may have found it. I'm just taking a couple of scoops on this one. My signal disappeared. I was getting a repeatable signal, but... Don't see it. I'm getting some sunburn on the back of my neck. I feel it. I feel it. A little bit more, a little bit more. Alright, let's move on. 
wasn't really a solid hit. Took a couple scoops on it, couldn't find it, so did our best. That was probably the gold bracelet. Ah, it's cold. It's almost up to my nipples. <laughs> Imagine if I had to blow my nose in here, I'd be out of luck, basically completely out of luck. Oh, uh, I see my legend. It has zero bars battery. Perfect. So we're probably on our last leg here. Pretty sure I started off with at least two bars, maybe three bars. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Here we go. Come on, before the legend dies, please. Finally getting into signals now that I've made my way down the freaking entire beach. Okay, sand scoop in. How many likes do we have in the building right now? Is there like 20 likes? I think I might have them on the first scoop. Oh, looky there, looky there. It's not a penny. It is not a penny. Number two. This is why it's good sometimes to commit. Look at that. I think that's gonna be silver too. It's got starting to get that black tarnish on it. There we go, boys and girls. How long have we been live? Look at that. It's got some green gemstones in the front of it. Pretty sure that's gonna be silver. It was reading up just like a zinc penny. Yep, I see it. The maker's mark is Sun, S-U-N 925. Silver ring, baby, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. So we got a little a little piece of silver, a little piece of potential uh, gold. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's keep going. That a boy, says Bingham. That a boy. Almost 90 minutes in, says Bob. Yeah, we only got 54 people left in here, but it ain't about how many people I got in here. I'm just, I'm enjoying the hunt, so... I know um, a slow hunt isn't for everyone, so I apologize to those people that I completely bored out. But, you know, sometimes metal detecting just isn't that exciting until you actually find something, so... I've been enjoying just chilling out. Some days I like just the chill metal detecting experience, you know, and not always like being super extra or super excited all the time. Sometimes just swinging is nice, you know? Very nice, very nice. With the vibrate, too. Oh. I think I just hit a rock. I thought I had another vibrate right there. With the vibrate, baby! Wayne says, I see 82 likes. Nice. Harold says, many are at work, lunch. Yeah, that's true too, Harold. And I think that I, I lost my connection too. I probably don't have the best connection out here. I'm really actually happy just the fact that I've been live this long at this area because this is an area that I always want to go live at, but my connection never really holds up. So today it seems like my connection has at least held up decent enough to keep us live most of the day. I kind of like the live in the water. Because, like, for me, it's just, it's always so slow in the water, you know? It's a rock. Nice to be able to hang out with you guys while I'm swinging through here, you know? An enjoyable hunt. Legends came through us, uh, came through for us today, though. I haven't really found many small things. When I come out here with the Equinox and my, uh, like earbuds it seems like i find earrings for days they're like the little signals that everyone else either missed on purpose or maybe their metal detector just didn't squeak on or maybe they're too small and they just fall through most people's scoops i've almost made my way completely to the end A 
Zero said, why did people leave? See you later, Maria. This is must get to work. Uh, 513, what's up, 513? She's, he says, I would say the simplex light, Linda. Uh, Linda says, metal detector did you use that you said would be great for kids nine years old? I watched a video that you did find something at a park. Yeah, I think that, that might have been the detector I was using, the uh, simplex light, possibly. Or it might have been that Amazon metal detector, I forget. You can get like cheap Amazon metal detectors that are like less than $100, but to really give yourself a chance, I think going with, you know, something that's at least kind of tried and true would probably be the play. So you could give them a better experience overall. Simplex light. There's even some of those, I don't know how they perform, but like the Mind Lab Go Find. I know that's kind of a specific kids detector. And I think the Nocta first swing. But I think the Simplex light would be an upgrade to those. That's like a real metal detector, you know? I'm probably about shriveled up by now. Probably looking like a prune. Matt says rock, paper, scissors. What's up, Tokalash? Oh, Dan says the Bounty Hunter Tracker. Yeah, that's actually a good machine. I feel like for a kid, a smaller coil is to their benefit though, you know? If you can get a kid a metal detector with kind of a small coil on it, it'll make their lives so much easier because number one, they don't have to dig as deep and they won't have to like, I don't know, they won't have to look as hard for their signal, I feel. If you have a little small coil, it uh, puts them like right on top of the signal. All right, I think let's make a turn. Let's maybe go down the middle lane. I think I'm just gonna detect until my legend goes dead. That's one benefit of in the water too, is like, uh, really you only have to rely on like if your arm is getting tired. But when it comes to the weather, it's always so nice. Not sweating, not having to deal with the gnarly freaking weather. All right, let's go back down this way now. Give you guys a look. I just made my way all the way down. All the way down here. We found two rings in this section. So there could definitely be more in here. Julie says, feeding the dog, still listening. ZZ says, I started with a detection or a de detectron ancient machine. Zero says that go finds are really bad, small frequency range. All right, that's that's good to hear, Zero. I wasn't sure about those machines. I've never used one, I've just seen them. Dan says, all kidding aside, the Tracker 5 does find stuff, especially if you dig every target. Yeah, the Tracker, I think, is a metal detector that is actually probably one of the best budget metal detectors you can buy. You know, if your budget is less than $100, I doubt that there's a better metal detector than the Bounty Hunter Tracker. Even though I've never used one, just kind of the general consensus <laughs> of uh, like the metal detecting community. People with good machines say that the Tracker actually is a decent starter machine and then they, they found like some good stuff with it, so. What's up James? James Hansen's in here. 513 says, if you need help, Linda, reach out to him via email. Julie says, Wayne, uh, no, but they managed to sneak two bites of my eggs. We got the music playing out here. Season starting, fellas, season starting. Not quite warm enough for everyone to be in the water. But soon, soon enough. Dan says, Bounty Hunter also made in America. Hey, that's that's actually a good point. If they actually are made in America, yeah. Oh, there it went. All right. Well, there she went. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's it, fellas. I don't think there's much else I can do.
that's kind of determines the hunt. <laughs> so, had a decent time out here though. It was a pretty enjoyable hunt. Got a good arm workout. Hey, the coin haul, what did we get? Two freaking coins for the day or what? <laughs> I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of a, should I give you a wrap up? Do you guys want a wrap up? My detector, no. <laughs> We actually found, though, two significantly good pieces of jewelry, so let's check it out. What did we get? Uh-oh, where's the other one? Please don't tell me. Oh, it's in here. Check it out. One of these babies right here. This one's definitely silver. Um, it's got the marking, but also just because of that tarnish it's got on it, it's got like that gray tarnish. It's kind of a cool one. It's got some little green gemstones in there, you know. Silver ring, baby. Can't complain. And then look at this one. This one is the fool's gold. Technically, actually, it is gold, I guess, because it's gold filled. But, uh, yeah, this one was reading an 11 on the legend, and it's 1 20th 14 carat. So I think that means it's gold filled. Other than that, I think we got like two or three coins. We got a quarter and maybe a couple pennies. So. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll definitely be back out to this beach again soon. I don't know if it'll be a regular video or a live or what, but yeah, pretty good hunt. Not too bad. Kind of slow, you know, a lot slower than my usual ones, but not too bad, not too bad at all. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. No, it was not fully charged. The detector wasn't fully charged. It might've had like two bars left. I'm guilty, I need to charge my detectors more often, but this baby was sitting in the trunk for my last couple park hunts, so I didn't really, um, you know, I wasn't really expecting to come out here today, it was kind of on a whim, but I'm glad that I did. Hey, appreciate you, Magoo. He says, towards a new battery. My battery is still good, it's just I need to charge it up, but I appreciate you, Magoo. Thanks for that, man. Julie says, enjoyed it. Um, Mark says, I have to leave you all headed out with my friend. Catch you later, Mark. Yeah, we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for hanging with me. Super nice little location out here. I'll be back down here, like, very, very soon. I think we might try the dry sand next time. So, yeah, Cheshire says, you need the second battery that slots into the shaft. That would be a good help right now. So, thanks for hanging guys. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. If you made it to the end of the video, consider giving it a uh, thumbs up. That's all I ask. So, thanks for watching. Toodles.